Something mysterious is happening in the night sky. The interstellar comet known as 3I-Atlas has suddenly started to glow a striking shade of green. Scientists and space enthusiasts alike are asking, what's behind this strange transformation? In this video, we'll explore what 3I-Atlas is, why it's turning green, and what the James Webb Space Telescope and other observatories are revealing about it. To understand 3I-Atlas, we must grasp the scale of our galaxy. For most of history, we believed everything in the sky was gravitationally bound to our sun, but we now know the void between stars isn't empty. Occasionally, a traveller from a distant star system visits our own. 3I-Atlas is one such traveller, an interstellar comet, a messenger from another star. Its official designation, 3I-Atlas, tells a story. The I stands for interstellar, a classification for these rare visitors. The three inches signifies it's only the third such object ever confirmed. The Atlas part honours the observatory that made the discovery. Being just the third of its kind underscores how monumental these events are, a precious opportunity to study another star system. To appreciate 3I slash Atlas, we must look at its predecessors. The first, 1I slash Umuamua, in 2017, was an enigma. It was small, oddly shaped, and showed no visible tail of gas and dust, which is highly unusual for a comet. Then in 2019 came two I slash Borisov. It was a reassuring discovery, looking and acting just like the comets from our own solar system, complete with a magnificent coma and tail. It proved normal comets exist elsewhere. The vast majority of comets we see are our own. They originate in two distant regions, the Kuiper Belt, a ring of icy bodies beyond Neptune, and the even more distant Oort Cloud, a spherical shell of comets enveloping our solar system. These objects are gravitationally bound to our Sun. Interstellar objects are fundamentally different. They are cosmic wanderers, ejected from their home star systems on journeys through the galaxy. The discovery happened in early 2025, thanks to the Atlas Survey in Hawaii. Standing for Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, its primary mission is to scan the sky for asteroids that could threaten Earth. In a series of images, automated software flagged a faint unknown point of light moving against the background stars. This automated detection triggered the initial alert for astronomers to investigate. As astronomers gathered more data, they calculated its trajectory. The key was its orbital eccentricity. Any object bound to our Sun has an eccentricity less than one. The calculations for this new object came back with a value significantly greater than one. This was the smoking gun. An eccentricity that high means the object is on a hyperbolic path, moving too fast for the sun's gravity to capture it. This confirmed its extraordinary nature. 3. I slash Atlas wasn't a member of our solar system. It was a tourist. Its path is a fleeting flyby, a brief swing through the inner solar system before being flung back out into deep space. It's on a one-way trip, and this transient visit is our only chance to study it. Here's where things get fascinating. As 3I Atlas plunged deeper into our solar system, hurtling past the orbit of Mars, astronomers watched a remarkable transformation. Through powerful telescopes, the faint object developed a spectacular ethereal halo, a ghostly green aura that grew more intense with each passing day. It was a sight both beautiful and baffling. But why green? In space, colour is a language, a cosmic barcode revealing an object's composition and origin. The vibrant emerald hue of 3I Atlas was speaking volumes, posing a question scientists were desperate to answer. The answer lies in its chemistry. The green glow isn't from the solid nucleus, but from its coma, the vast atmosphere of gas and dust that forms as the comet warms. As it neared the sun, its surface ice is sublimated, turning directly to gas. This released a cocktail of molecules, including simple carbon-based ones like diatomic carbon or C2 and cyanogen. The magic that creates the light is a process called fluorescence. Invisible ultraviolet sunlight bombards the diatomic carbon molecules, exciting their electrons into a higher, unstable state. Almost instantly they fall back, releasing that energy as a photon of light. The physics of the C2 molecule dictates this photon has a specific wavelength, one our eyes perceive as a brilliant shade of green. This also explains a curious detail. Why a comet's head can be green 
but its tail almost never is. The diatomic carbon molecule is incredibly fragile. It's created in the dense inner coma, but is quickly torn apart by the same solar radiation that makes it glow. It doesn't survive long enough to be swept into the comet's long tail. The green glow is a fleeting phenomenon, a vibrant halo, hugging close to the comet's heart. We've seen this green glow before in famous comets like Hale-Bopp and Neowise. But with 3i Atlas, something was different. Spectroscopic analysis revealed the emission lines from its diatomic carbon were unusually intense. The brightness suggested a far higher concentration of these materials than we typically see. This was a powerful hint that 3i Atlas has a fundamentally different chemical makeup compared to comets from our own solar system. And that makes perfect sense, because 3i Atlas wasn't born here. It formed in the swirling disk of gas and dust around another star. The specific chemistry of that parent star and its protoplanetary disk, its unique blend of elements and radiation was imprinted on the comet. Its building blocks could be quite exotic, a different recipe for a cosmic snowball. This green glow is a fingerprint of an alien chemistry. By meticulously analysing the spectrum of that light, scientists can measure the carbon's abundance and even search for different isotopes, heavier or lighter versions of atoms. These details could provide the smoking gun proof of its extrasolar origin. The green light of 3i Atlas is a message in a bottle from a distant star, and we are finally learning how to read it. To unravel the mysteries locked within 3i Atlas, humanity turned to its most powerful eye on the cosmos. Enter the James Webb Space Telescope. Positioned in the deep cold of space, a million miles from Earth, Webb is an engineering marvel designed to see the universe in a light our eyes cannot. Infrared. This capability is the key. While previous telescopes gave us tantalizing glimpses, Webb's unparalleled sensitivity and advanced instrumentation were built for exactly this kind of cosmic detective work. With its giant golden mirror trained on the faint traveller, Webb isn't just taking a picture, it's performing a cosmic autopsy from billions of kilometres away. Using its near-infrared spectrograph, or NIASPEC, the telescope captures the faint glow from the comet's coma, the cloud of gas and dust sublimating from its icy nucleus. This light is then passed through a prism-like device, splitting it into a rainbow of infrared colours, a technique called spectroscopy. Every molecule and element, from simple water to complex organics, absorbs and emits light at very specific wavelengths. This creates a unique pattern of bright and dark lines within the spectrum, a chemical barcode. By reading this barcode, astronomers can identify the precise ingredients that make up 3i Atlas, with a level of detail never before possible for an interstellar visitor. The data streaming back from Webb isn't just a list of chemicals, it's a manuscript holding the answers to some of our most profound questions. First, are we unique? By comparing the chemical makeup of 3i Atlas to comets from our own Oort cloud, we can see if the recipe for building a solar system is universal. Are the same raw materials, the water, the carbon, the silicates prevalent everywhere? The answer will reshape our understanding of planetary formation across the cosmos. Then there's the ultimate question, the origin of life. We know comets in our solar system can carry complex organic molecules. Could these interstellar travellers act as galactic couriers, delivering the essential building blocks of life from one star system to another. Finding molecules like amino acids on 3i Atlas would be monumental. It would suggest that the seeds of life aren't confined to a single planet or star, but are scattered across the galaxy, just waiting for a fertile world. Finally, this comet is a time capsule from its home system. Its composition gives us a direct sample of the primordial cloud from which its star and planets formed. This provides an invaluable chemical blueprint, helping us understand the potential atmospheres and compositions of exoplanets orbiting distant stars, worlds we can only study from afar. Each observation of this fleeting visitor brings us closer to understanding not just where it came from, but where we all might be going. The fact that 3i Atlas is glowing green isn't just a pretty sight. It's a scientific opportunity. Each interstellar visitor is like a time capsule from another world. 
Studying them could tell us how common life's ingredients are in the universe and whether our solar system is unique or part of a much bigger cosmic pattern. So the next time you hear about a strange green comet in the sky, remember, you're not just looking at a ball of ice and rock. You might be seeing material that formed light years away, now passing by our sun for just a brief moment in cosmic history. 3. Our atlas is more than just a green comet. It's a messenger from the stars, and thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, we're closer than ever to unlocking its secrets.